Hey Aloha guys, Eric West here with my good friend Christian Henneke. We're shooting here live from beautiful Baby Beach in Lahaina, Maui, Hawaii. And I uh, just want to thank you guys so much for taking a few moments to learn a little bit about Switch for Lahaina. Um, this is a great opportunity for me to kind of interview Christian, who did a similar program, right, during COVID, yep. where he was able to help small business owners that were devastated after their businesses were shut down. And right after the fire, he reached out to me. We've known each other for about, I don't know, 20 plus years. Yep. And um, he lived on Maui for about five. And hopefully you're going to come back soon. So he's yep. thinking about it. We're, oh, we're, yeah. We don't have to twist his arm too hard. Right? <laughs> Planning. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but he did reach out to me right after the fire. Obviously, he's got a big heart for this island and for helping people, which he's done for a lot of your career. Yep. And I've seen the stories. I've seen the proof. And it's really an amazing opportunity I think we have. And, but I thought this would be just a good chance for me to ask Christian a few questions that might kind of clarify how this program works and how I believe you can make a difference for the people on this island yep. just by doing some very simple, easy behaviors that are actually yeah. beneficial for a lot of different things, not just yeah. for Lahaina. Yeah, it's actually a lot of really good impact at, like, at your house. This will be good for you. Yeah. Uh, so back in um, when all the COVID stuff started up, Remember how small business owners um, started getting shut down? What I remember, we were in Kihei at the time, that's where yep. we were living. And I remember rudely, you know, becoming aware that our favorite restaurants, it was mostly restaurants, honestly, yep. they were closed. Or like the, the indoor dining was closed. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed other small local businesses were closed. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this channel took off yep. when I discovered the uh, general store at 505 Front Street had an eviction notice on it. And I actually was live. We just, my son Hunter and I just got done surfing at Breakwall. And I decided to go live. I have absolutely no idea why. And I come across this eviction notice. And I was, I was, I was offended that a business would be ev being evicted when they can't even be open for business. Right. And then the next day I came down and I shot on Lahaina on Front Street because I was concerned, you know, did all the businesses get evicted? And thankfully they didn't. Yeah. But that's sort of what started this channel, and I started promoting the Maui Food Bank donations because yep. people were lining up for food. So it was actually the birth of this channel came out of that era. So I don't believe there's any mistakes. I think everything happens for a reason. I like to believe that anyway. Yeah. And the fact that you sort of positioned yourself after COVID to help people, and now we have this situation <laughs> happening here in Lahaina, and basically yep. the same switch program would help people from this from this town. Yeah, yeah. So when you... Uh if this is something to consider, I think we'll talk about this for a few minutes sure. right now to kind of help you, help you, the viewer, um, come to a place in your mind where you feel like, okay, I understand what you guys are talking about. I see why now switching is appealing um, and how that benefits locals. Yeah, kind um, of tie it all together. What does, it, yeah. what does it look like? Yeah, it's distracting for me. There's burn <laughs> oh, yeah. everywhere here behind. You can't see it on the, on the camera, but behind. And it's just devastation everywhere, everywhere we look. And uh, so let me go back to the, the COVID era. So I remember feeling frustrated. I was driving a minivan. Um, I'm a dad, you know, I've been married for 25 years. Um, and I remember thinking, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. Uh, so what, I'm mad. Who yeah. cares? Who isn't mad? Right. Like all my friends, all my regular friends, like that's the, the only people I know are regular and like non-billionaires. Right, that's yeah. that, my friends mostly with non-billionaires and um, the there's non elites a, There's a few around Hawaii, but I don't know them. Right, <laughs> right yeah. <laughs> the yeah, non elites I, Yeah, and I don't, I don't hate billionaires or anything, but I'm just, j oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Little baby beach sand. Uh-huh. Never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so generally, uh, <laughs> That'll be really awesome. <laughs> a little action, action it's, it's video. It's initializing the gimbal again. All right. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. We're, uh, we're back in action here. <laughs> okay, so little guys and billionaires. Yeah, so I, I, was, I was upset, I think, along with all of us that first year of COVID. We watched the backbones of our communities just get crushed. And at the same time, the, the biggest, most successful businesses on earth Stayed in some open. cases, they all got to stay open. And it goes back to this basic thing. I kept thinking if the rules were the same for all of us, you know, I, I think most of us would just, we wouldn't, we'd suck it up and play the game. But when the rules are different, mm. when they get to play by different rules. And it's all, everything's stacked in their favor. Yes, essentially. yes. Do, how, do, how does a little guy 
do anything. Right. So you yeah. kind of found an outlet. Yes. To, to make a, a dent. Yeah. Right. So there's this really cool thing. So we all go to Walmart, Target, Amazon, they're the big stores. We buy from the big brands. Mm -hmm. Even though we don't necessarily always agree with their politics. Sure. Right? But like, it's where like, else are you gonna go? where else are we going to go? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, plus we're all busy. We're distracted. We're like, you know, I'm trying to keep the wheels on in my own life. Right. And I, I think that's how most of us are these days. We're trying to be okay, doing our thing, coming and going, getting what we need. Well, in the area of consumer goods, uh, that's what Switch for Lahaina is all about. It's, you know, what if a bunch of us little guys ban, and this was the original idea. What if a bunch of us little guys, instead of kind of turning left into the Walmart parking lot every Friday on the way home from work or whatever the, you know, whatever your routine is, like we've been doing for what, 10, 20, 30 years, whatever, yeah. a lot of us, like our whole lives. So what if instead of doing that, what if we could choose family owned, made in America, factory direct, better, safer, delivered. There's some other perks in there that's good for us as shoppers and consumers and, and humans. And two million people have already made the switch. So yep. it's not like it's a new kind of thing, been around right. for what, 30 odd years? Yeah, yeah, manufacturers been doing their thing for almost 40 years now. Um, they're really good at what they do. And what we now get to choose, we're at this, you're at this crossroads. Eric and I already made the switch. Our family switched years ago. Um, you could choose family owned made in America to get your, uh, I don't know, your basics, your deodorant and floor cleaner and right. toothpaste and I don't know, a bunch of boring stuff that nobody really thinks about, mm -hmm. but we all buy as long as we're breathing. So right now, um, I've done a lot of research and what I've found is uh, consumer goods in the US is about a $600 billion a year industry. Wow. That is all concentrated at the, the Goliaths. I, I, I like thinking in terms of like David and Goliath, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, it, and it, here's, what, here's what this is like. All us little guys, all us regular people, like, like your family too, we run up to Goliath with our money every week, as long as we're breathing, mm -hmm. and we stuff our cash in Goliath's pocket, like every week. And there's a couple hundred million of us doing this every week, <laughs> as long as we're breathing. It's, six, it's, a, it's a 600 billion, it's like, a, it's like the Mississippi River of $100 bills, mm -hmm. aimed at Goliath. So we have been helping Goliath, essentially. And, and I think a lot of us haven't been helping David because we can't even see him. Right. He's so tiny. Or a lot of us think <laughs> it's David when in fact David yes. has sold to Goliath. Exactly. Like Burt's Bees and... Tom's, uh, Tom's of Maine. Tom's of Maine. The list goes on and on. There's right? hundreds. They've all been essentially swallowed up. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The formerly family owned brands. Choice is an illusion. I mean, in the grocery stores and the big stores these days, we walk up and down the aisles and we see all these, like the packaging, the marketing is brilliant. Yeah. Like I, when I get this and I put it in my cart, I imagine I'm helping Ann Tom, or Tom Harry. or Bert. Yeah, some person. <laughs> and it just makes me feel good, right? And right. it's probably better than the regular store yeah. brands, the bigger brands. And it's, nah. not, it's not a person. No. And it's not an American family owned business. No. It's not made in America. No. And it's owned by one of the huge conglomerates. Yes. And I know you uh, shared this once with me that they actually are able to put ingredients in products in the US that they're not allowed to put into ingredients in other countries. And yes. so they actually sell us in the US inferior products yep. that are more dangerous yep. and they have a lot of liability and they, they, they actually build in the cost of lawsuits into yep. these products because they're so not, not good for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and all we have to do is look at the same manufacturer putting out the same or a very similar product overseas, say in Europe where re regulations are tighter. And you can see that well, there's evidence in the world today that these manufacturers know how to make a better, a safer product, and they choose not to mm -hmm. here. Right. And really. they build in the cost of the lawsuits into yeah. the product. So we were actually paying yes. for their liability and for their profiteering, essentially. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I've, I've gone down the rabbit hole long enough um, and, har and far enough, you don't have to go very far, to find that they seem to very clearly prioritize profit um, over people. Profit over like your kids, your grandkids, your pets. Um, there's so many tragic stories historically, and so many lawsuits pending against our competition right now. Um, and you were sharing earlier that this manufacturer has zero lawsuits. They've never been sued never for been anything sued. product related at all. Wow. Never. There's never been a product incident of any kind that's mm -hmm. remarkable. Like they've never hurt anybody, and our competitors. Like this is just normal. Right. It, it's default position is we're hurting people. So as you're as you're watching this, um, 
um, what we there's a couple I think a couple main things to consider if you're willing to look a little further you would find um, the switch for Lahaina probably the, in the description you'll find the the link give the page a little bit of a look um, if if it sounds all right stick your info in there that'll connect you to somebody in the local crew and this is where um, make connect yeah. the dots here how how would if they switch for Lahaina how would that actually help people that are from Lahaina or from Maui that were impacted yeah. by the fire. So part of the reason I, I physically came here, other than, you know, this. <laughs> we had to twist um, his arm, let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> I love Maui. Um, I'm guessing a lot of your a lot of your viewers have been to Maui or, or have been to Hawaii or want to go to Hawaii. Or right? are very jealous at this very exact right, moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you kind of have baby beach all to yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's unheard of. Wish you were here. Yeah. Um, but uh, so the local crew, so part of the reason I'm here, like physically hanging out with Eric, we have been physically meeting with families who are devastated and we're explaining the Switch for Lahaina project. Frankly, because you're willing to look and consider switching where you get your basics, that creates a work opportunity for locals. Right. And we've been putting together the, the crew, I guess we're calling it a, a crew. Um, and that's uh, when you, when you make the switch, if, if that's something you decide to do, um, it'll directly benefit one of these local families that's been devastated. Someone like Nuku or Brooke or all these individuals that yeah, are can. currently working now. Yeah. We've put them to work essentially. Yep. And when they, they made the switch, obviously, yep. and now we're encouraging others to switch for Lahaina because this could could supplement their income, yep. could replace their income. It's yep. something that could definitely make a huge difference. And a lot of people that, that live here don't have their old jobs anymore. Right. Or The businesses are gone. Businesses are gone. Or they're having to commute somewhere, or they had to move to a different island, or they had to move to the mainland. Yep. And so our goal, you know, in the beginning with the channel, we were able to sort of like, you know, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, which is yeah. great. There was a time and place for that. Yeah. But I really believe this program is teach a man to fish and feed him for a lifetime. Yes. And so this is something that these individuals could do for literally the rest of their yeah. career if they wanted to. Yeah. Um, and part absolutely. of that is, is switching to this American made manufacturer. Right. Absolutely. And I think, I think the way to like where the rubber really meets the road, the, the viewer and you guys were so generous. Mm. Um, I, I was a viewer, I donated as, as well, and it was so, I'm getting the chills just thinking mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, it was amazing to see. So I, yeah, I agree, this is kind of the next, this is a, that was a Band-Aid, mm -hmm. this is a long-term solution right. for a lot of locals. So when any of us go to Walmart, Target, Amazon, when we go spend our money there, we're, we're kind of voting with our dollars for those places, right? Well, what happens if you, if you test out Made in America family owned, maybe you talk to one of the local crew, you get the scoop on what it looks like to have a, a shopping account with the manufacturer. And then you, you get a box of stuff delivered and you see what it's like. If you like it and you choose to continue to shop here instead of there, well, you're helping the local people mm -hmm. instead of helping the Walton family. <laughs> <laughs> or Jeff Bezos. Or Jeff Bezos. And, right. and Eric and I don't hate Jeff Bezos or the Walton family, it's not about that. It's just about we could choose, we could choose differently. We could choose right. to help locals. You, yeah, you can buy local. You can buy on Main Street. You can help yep. local businesses. And this is a way that these individuals can do this from anywhere in the world. They can yep. do it from Kihei. They can do it from Lahaina. They can do it yep. from Wisconsin. Wherever they're at, yep. they can sit at their computer and basically make an income. Yeah. And uh, and these opportunities don't always exist for, I mean, this opportunity does exist for them, obviously, but there's other opportunities that have just been taken away from these people. Yeah. It's and pretty limited. They're kind of shell-shocked. And part of it, too, is they, you know, some of them have received support. And I know yesterday was FEMA's last day on the island. And mm -hmm. so we're sort of anticipating, like, they are going to have to start standing on their own. And the rents in Maui have doubled, yeah. um, and a lot of them didn't even get good FEMA support, or their insurance is running out. So there's just yep. there's the next phase, and it's easy to forget about something <laughs> in the beginning, thinking oh everything's going to be okay. But in yeah. reality, I think things can kind of go downhill. So we just want to provide a solution, and I believe this is a very very yeah. solid solution, and something I'm putting my name on, yeah. and something I know you've already successfully done for yeah. people during COVID. Yeah. And I think it's almost like a no-brainer. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you for being willing to take a stand and, and yep. for you uh, at the Crossroads, if if you've heard enough that you're willing to stick your info in and um, get a little more info from somebody on the crew, they'll give you the rundown. There's It's like a no pressure at all. No. They'll just give you the scoop. And I think you're probably gonna wanna try out 
made in America, uh, family owned, delivered. It's pretty convenient. Prices right. are really good. The three states it's made in is what was it? Uh... Yeah, they manufacture in Idaho, uh, Tennessee, and Kansas. Kansas, okay. All yeah. Right. And you also mentioned it's the last. Yeah. The last one. Yeah, and that's where the whole David and Goliath thing, I, I think, right. comes back into clarity for me. Because sometimes choice, choice is an illusion. In case you didn't know, I had no idea. Right. I thought we had all kinds of choice at the big stores. But the mega conglomerates had just been buying everything for the last few decades, mm -hmm. shipping a lot of jobs overseas, shipping a lot of manufacturing overseas. So a lot of the things we get in these stores are imported. Mm -hmm. um, and not a crime or anything. It's just if I could support local, that's how I'm wired. And I, I think probably most of your viewers are wired the yeah. same way. Um, so and really absolutely no risk right because oh yeah none at all you don't like something customer service is amazing 90 day money back guarantee yeah. and the other thing that's really wild about this company is it's very hands-on so you're yep. actually going to talk to somebody yep live yep. and customer support also is live yep so i don't know about if you've noticed this since covid it seems like customer service has just disappeared oh yeah everything is a recording it's ai and it's, and it's horrible yeah yeah so this company is is kind of almost old school in that it regard is. that it's it's actually a live person you get to talk to i'm glad you said that if if you miss the good old days this is a vote for the good old days <laughs> it really is a vote for the good yeah. old days yeah. yeah and an opportunity to help a very special place so if this is of interest what's their next step yeah just hit the hit the site uh switch and um stick your info in would be amazing. What, what makes um, life and work easiest on the local crew is if you can book a time. You don't have to, but if you can look at your calendar the next few days and pick a time that works for you mm -hmm. and just stick that in, just lock that time in. Also, I'll say this, they arrange their day and their, their schedule. There's kids, I, some of the crew, they're single moms, mm -hmm. you know, taking on the world by themselves. Um, it would mean the world to them for you to be willing to book an appointment and then keep the appointment. <laughs> so <laughs> if you book a time, please, you know, uh, bold and underline that, yeah. set a reminder for yourself. Um, uh, they'll send you a reminder as well, but just if you could be there, that'd be great. If you can't just communicate with them, you're communicating with a local. This is like a person, not a robot. <laughs> right. This is a, a family. Yeah, this yeah. is a family. And anyway, uh, if you could book a time, that would be the most amazing um, thing that you could do for the crew. That way they can schedule. Sure. They, they know exactly what their plan is day to day. That okay. helps them a lot. One last thing I want to make sure we, we don't forget to touch on is that this is not about buying anything new. No. Right? We're not right. asking people to, oh, try this thing that's out of their budget. Or, this right. is literally about things that you're, you're purchasing already. Yeah. You're just switching over to, instead of buying it from Costco, Target, Walmart, yep. you're now purchasing it from American manufacturers. So right. it's, is, it, is it more expensive? No, no. Yeah. And they'll, they'll actually, I'm glad you brought you went down that road. So they'll help you set up a shopping account direct to the factory so that so when you- order you, online? Yeah, you order online. Um, you can order on the app on your phone or you, if, you, if you prefer to call customer service and tell them what you want, that's fine. Um, but it's also better, um, significantly better. Mm -hmm. Organic, clean, safe, really good stuff is what they specialize in. For anybody that knows Trader Joe's, yeah. um, like most people smile when, in my experience, when yeah. I say, hey, you ever been, and they smile, yes, I've been, I like Trader Joe's. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. yeah, what Trader Joe's has done for food, you know, they, they take like boring, regular boring things and they make them cool yeah. for good prices. I feel like what Trader Joe's has done for food, um, this manufacturer has done for like the basic boring consumer goods stuff around your house. Yeah. So I think you'd probably like it. I, most, most people who test it out fall in love and, and don't go back to the big stores. Yeah. And that would be a, a really big win for the local families as well. Just like the Waltons have a sustainable long-term cash flow a dependable because think about it hundreds of millions give uh, of us give them our we give them our money all the time right every day it's never ending cash flow for the walton family if if you like this if you test it and you like it and you shop here instead of there maybe till you die you don't have to but i'm just saying if you fall in love with it and you shop this way we can benefit locals just getting the stuff we need for generations essentially for, for generations Possibly, yeah. yeah seriously yeah. i don't want to forget one of the things that i'm the most passionate about and that is ah the beef i know i know you knew, <laughs> I knew where i was going so i went carnivore about uh -huh. i don't know a little under a year ago right yeah and you reached out to me because you know christian he kind of keeps me dialed into what's going on with the company yeah. and they have a consumer direct beef 
division essentially. Yes. And so they own ranch land. Yep. Matter of fact, they own a ranch on Kauai. I yep. checked I checked the uh, the map. Yep. And they have other ranches throughout the the US. Yep. And there's a video that you sent me that explains what's happening in the beef industry, which is yep. quite frankly very scary. Yeah. And I'm carnivore, so it's really difficult to source high quality beef. So then you told me about it, and then we found out they don't ship to Maui. <laughs> but guess what? They ship to Maui now. They do now. As a matter of fact, this company was shipping to Maui their beef right after the fire, even before they were officially shipping here. Yeah. So I got that story they were from helping Ed. People. Yeah, they were helping yeah. people. They'd show up with trucks of yeah. product and beef. Yeah. And now I've tried the beef, and I'm telling you, man, it is. Yeah. And I'm super picky. Uh huh. Like I'm ridiculously picky. Like it's like once you only eat beef, you just kind of know it's like, ooh, that's kind of rough. You do. So yeah. so talk to talk to them a little bit about the beef because I'll just start, yeah. I'll just start gushing because I'm so excited <laughs> about it. The headline there um, is there's only one vertically integrated ranching and beef uh, production operation left in North America. There's only one, and this is it. And that matters if you care about the health of the animals, if you care about the quality of the meat, if you want to know what they were fed, where they get their water, if you want to know, you know, a day in the life. Were these animals happy? Mm. I think that matters in a, a true lot. black Angus herd. Yes. Right. That hasn't yes. been cross bred with dairy cows, which yep. is kind of wild. I never knew that, that yeah. was a thing. Yeah. Never ever any antibiotics right. or mRNA right. or um, what's the third one? Um, hormones. Yep. Yep. And if they do have a, uh, a steer that needs to get sick and they do need to treat it, they will, but then yep. they ship that one to another slaughterhouse right. and they don't keep it part of the private label. Right. So yeah. that, that to me is like unbelievable. And the other thing is I checked the prices. Yeah. It's the same as Costco. Yeah. That's and, our, our and tracks in Texas. It's really right, right on par with Costco pricing, which is attractive for most people. And it's delivered right to your door. And it's in Maui, it's frozen solid, right? Yeah. And it is absolutely delicious. So, yeah. uh, you know, the fact that, that this company integrated that food source, which I think is so important, so vital yeah. to source good, healthy, nutritious food, and it's not easy. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting kind of hungry. Thinking about <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of things. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff around the house, including beef, snacks, and drinks that you can get from uh, Factory Direct. So if this sounds interesting, if you're even willing to just take one more step and look a little further, uh, grab an appointment that would help the local crew um, and look forward to that call. Uh, we'll look forward to maybe uh, seeing you on the other side shopping, yeah. like helping David. <laughs> or also coming over to Maui. So thank you for yes. supporting this island. Thank you for coming here on your next vacation. Thank you for sharing that idea with others. Yeah. Tourism is the backbone of this of this island. Yep. And uh, certainly that that's a huge help as well. But yeah. in the meantime, it, consider making the switch for Lahaina. Yeah, any of us little guys can band together and help each other. If if you're uh, if you have people in your life that you think would resonate with with this, please they can share, right? Absolutely. This is out on your channel. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. Please please share with them. Um, let's spread this around. There's hundreds of millions of us helping mm -hmm. the Walton family right now. Right. Um, or or if you know somebody impacted by the fire yeah that needs to make some money yeah needs a needs nice an opportunity second job, needs yeah. an opportunity uh let us know yep so okay cool well thank you christian Good. for showing up i know it was yeah tough duty right yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go make him snorkel now yep <laughs> and look at for turtles but thank you guys so much i appreciate it and uh we look forward to uh helping you with the switch to lahaina and yep. uh seeing you down the road yep thanks take care